Bergen Record columnist Charlie Stile says fighting inflation concerns is an uphill battle for Democratic candidates, but is it one they can win? Charlie joins me now. Charlie, good to see you. As always, we are getting into this final stretch to Election Day. Do Democrats have a messaging issue right now? I think so. They they um, have not formulated a an effective pushback on or message about inflation. The Republicans have made that their mantra: inflation, inflation, inflation. They're holding themselves out as the alternative to democratic rule. Um, they don't really provide any kind of substantive or compelling solutions on how they're going to rein in inflation. They're just pointing the finger at the incumbent Democrats under the incum uh, incumbent president, Democratic President Joe Biden, and, um, uh, and have been effective in linking Democratic candidates to the National Party. And the Democrats have just not been able to really come up with a coherent message. They were counting heavily on the Inflation Reduction Act yeah. as a way to inoculate themselves from those charges, but it just hasn't been the, the great shield that they uh, thought it would be when the president signed that law with great fanfare this summer. Well, and you wrote this week that really inflation and the economy are dominating all of the conversations and they've got a heavy lift, right? They've got to tie uh, the Republican Party to the former president who's still sucking up uh, a lot of oxygen in the race uh, right. and also to the Dobbs case, to abortion while hitting home that they will lower prices for people and, and help their pocketbooks. I, I think that's right. I mean, a part of the challenge with Trump is that he's not, he's in the air, but not on the ballot. Um, and I, I think a lot of Democrats uh, were really uh, hopeful that the backlash over Dobbs would be the winning ticket for them. If you look at Tom Malinowski's campaign for the 7th Congressional District, he's put a lot of heavy emphasis on that issue. And um, I, I'm not convinced that that's going to carry him to the finish line. He's, he's facing an uphill battle. We'll see. A lot of people don't. It's very hard to measure that anger over abortion. Right. Is that enough to galvanize uh, particularly some of those suburban voters that he relied on? There were reports this week, Charlie, that um, perhaps the Democrats have sort of cut their losses in, in that race in terms of how much they're spending for campaign ads. What can you tell us about that? Well, I, I know that um, there have been reports of that, but there's also uh, Nancy Pelosi's PAC, um, a House Majority PAC has spent very heavily in that uh, race. Um, I don't know if it's really kept up with the Congressional Leadership Fund, which is Kevin McCarthy's um, spending um, a PAC that has come in heavily for Tom Kane. Um, Malinowski's had a substantial war chest so it's it's kind of murky. I think the real issue, though, is um, on the ground enthusiasm at this part. Who's going to be able to mobilize their troops? And um, you know, Malinowski's got some unions behind him. He's got uh, uh, pro-choice activists and women. Um, so uh, you know, at, at this point, I, you know, it, it, you know, the money takes backseat to uh, footwork, but it's still very important. So it's hard to say. All right, Charlie Style with the Bergen Record. Good to talk to you as always. My pleasure.